I'm Big Will Evanson, and it's time to talk sports. Boy, oh boy, what a busy night we had in high school sports on the Western Slope. All four Valley teams were in action in all three sports, volleyball, softball, and soccer. And we begin on the pitch at beautiful Canaan View Park, where Fruta took on Montrose. Each team scored a goal in half one, but here in half two, Montrose on the counter looking to take the lead. And it's a great play to steal it by Axel Marquez, and he strikes to the net. But it's a heck of a save being by Fruta goalie Ian Fay. Montrose had their chances in the second half, pressing here again, but a great block by Dylan Kimball. A great ball in here from Brady Cooling and Tommy Montoya Ornelas. Header attempt comes oh so close, but we remain tied. Free kick is well hit here by Wilson Siegman. Tristan France tries for goal, but it's a diving save made by the keeper Jude Carlton. And here on the corner from Nick Federson, it's well hit and off the ricochet. And on the header, Carter Thomas puts it in the back of the net to give Fruta the two to one lead in the second half. But the Red Hawks got one late to tie it, and that's how it would end. A 2-2 draw from Canyon View. Fruta now 4-4-3 four, four, and three on the year, and now they're only one draw away from having a rare 4-4-4 four, four, and four record. Next up for Montrose, they'll host Eagle Valley, and Fruta has a home date with Durango. Moving to the volleyball court, where the Wildcats were also in action at Central High School. These two split the first two sets and voided we have a doozy in set three. Light tap from Paige LeBaron puts Montrose in control up 17 to 10, but here come the Wildcats. A perfectly hit serve by Peyton Wilford makes it now 18 to 15 central. And what great saves here from Fruta that leads to a perfectly hit free ball from Molly Atwood that hits the wood to make it 18 to 17. Some great effort plays here again by the Wildcats to keep it alive. And it's Mackenzie Mason who gets the kill. And once down 18 to 12, Fruta scored eight points in a row to go up by two. And now a beautiful tap from the captain, Brielle Smith, to put Fruta up three. Match point here for the Wildcats. Central attempted a kill. It hits the net. And the Wildcats come roaring back from down seven to take set to 25 to 21. But in the game that went back and forth, it was the Warriors who won the final two sets to get a huge win over rival Fruta on their home court. It's a crushing loss for the Wildcats, who appeared to have the momentum after going up two sets to one. But credit the Warriors for hanging in tough and getting their fourth win of the year. Next up, Fruta will be down in Durango on Saturday, and Central will take on Cap Rock Academy on Thursday. And on the diamond over at CMU's field, the Warriors took on the Tigers of Grand Junction. Central got up big in this one, scoring four runs in the first, but here in the second, Grand Junction's defense stepped up. Nice pitch there from Jackson Clark to end the top of the second. Bottom second, ball hit short, and it's a great effort Play by the pitcher Ella Grace Kellerby to flip it to first for the out. In the third now, Andre Hansen hits a roll with a second, and Veda Irwin throws to first for out one. Next batter is Caitlin Rash, and Rash hits, hits it to right. It looks like it's foul, but it's a heck of an effort again by Irwin to make the grab for out two. Next batter, Brielle West, hits deep to center, and it's Ashley Gonzalez there for the grab to end the top half of the third. Now the bottom third, Grand Junction finally able to muster some offense with this ball hit deep to right center by Kaya Thompson. Ball hits the wall and it's good for a stand up double. Same inning, still four to nothing. Grounded a short and Allison Brunk whips it to first to end the third and keep the Warriors in control and up four. And Central remain in control to get the big win 11 to three over the Tigers. Central gets a much needed victory. Their sixth of the year as Grand Junction falls to nine and seven. Next up for the Warriors, they will host Montrose on Thursday. And also on Thursday, the Tigers will host Fruta. Another awesome night of high school sports on the Western Slope as always for all the action and reaction of local high school sports. Keep it right here on KREX 5. That's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.